cameraman. I recognize you from 20 years ago. <laughs> Today is a good day. Hey, hey. It's Kevin McNamara and Kevin today. Because Bridget Burke is about to lift the Notre Dame jinx, which was put in place many, many years ago. And as we go through the ceremony, you'll all be educated as to why. Got a few questions for you, Bridget. Is Bridget Mary Bridget Mary Burke Revisa your true name? Yes, it is. Are you now, or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Uh, no, I have not. No. Come on, come on. Okay. Besides lots of alcohol, have you had any drugs that would affect your judgment to make decisions in the last 24 hours? Um, only. Oh, baby, and I <laughs> <laughs> All right. In 1989, were you the valedictorian of your high school to have over a 4.0 grade point average? Yes. Did you apply for admission to the University of Notre Dame? I did. Despite the fact that you're 100% Irish, and then up to that point, your family had been the biggest Notre Dame fans in the history of the world, besides maybe Mike Mooney here. He could pan to Mike. <laughs> Despite all those facts, were you accepted to the University of Notre Dame? Tragically, I was not. <laughs> was your friend, who I don't want to call her a bimbo, but an average student, very low GPA. Was she accepted just because her dad went there? I'm not mentioning any names. Okay, and I cannot tell a lie. I believe she was waitlisted. But she eventually... She did move up the waitlist. Okay. Due to that fact, everything we just discussed, was the Bridget Burke jinx invoked? Which means, which means that Notre Dame would never win another national championship in football as long as you live. I believe it was. And it won't be What do you mean you believe it was? You were there when it was involved, right? Mike's wedding. Whose wedding was it in Joseph P. Hayden's wedding. Yes. I'll never forget that. Since the Jinx was invoked, has Notre Dame in fact won another national championship? Absolutely not. This is impossible. in place. Despite the fact that Notre Dame basically spat in the face of the Burke family, and may I say the entire Irish community, is it your wish today to lift the jinx just because John Rulo saved my life while I was choking and getting the Heimlich maneuver? Don't do it! Don't do it! Screw Rulo! Well, go Spartan! Well, I have mixed feelings about him saving your life, but I will say yes, I think I will agree to lift the jinx. But I think he has a response before Mark, we lift. Before we lift the jinx? Correct. Mike Money. Well, first of all, I'm here representing Notre Dame in an unofficial capacity. I advised them of the jinx lifting circumstances was about to prevail. I was I received an email today and it was copy jack, but my printer doesn't work, so I had to write it out. To Mike Mooney from Frank Walsh. University of Notre Dame Office of Strategic Planning. Copy Jack Burke. Subject Bridget Burke. Curse Hex. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, University Planners, Endowment and Money Raisers, Managers, and Athletic Department personnel will be delirious with joy when they are advised the lifting of this horrible jinx. The University Admissions Department apparently made a grave error approximately 20 years ago when they failed to admit Bridget Burke, Miss Bridget Burke, the class of 1993. That's correct, I believe. I am advised that Curse Hex was installed by her brother Jack Burke in the fall of 1984 at a family wedding. I'm further advised that 
In a couple of years subsequent to this date, the university admissions started seeing a noticeable decline in the caliber of students applying Notre Dame. The university endowment and uh, general contribution money managers saw a decrease in their funds, and most noticeable, a sharp decline in the fortunes of the Notre Dame football team as they, I can't read the word, was both, uh, presided with both Coach Bob Davey and Ty Willing here. Sad story. <laughs> It was sad you were rejected. We have 20 years to get over We've had to get over it. The university began investigating the convergence of these previously not experienced negatives and very, and very disconcerting negative factors and assessed that they were to a great degree a result of the rigid Burke curse. The university has endured the last 12 to 13 years of this seemingly unshakable shackle and now are extraordinarily grateful to Jack Burke and his sister Bridget Burke Raviosi that the, for visa. For the ex curse is to be lifted with warmest regard Frank Walsh. No, we can't have that. Bridget, we can't. Right. Right. The Spartans might well, it has not The Michigan State people don't want it. No! Repeat after me. I Bridget Burke. I Bridget Burke. Liberal left winger. Being of sound mind. Liberal left winger. Being of sound mind. By the power invested in me by the old side, Normal Heights, California. By the power invested in me at the old side, Northern. Normal Heights. Normal Heights, Southern California. Bastion of liberalism. <laughs> Hereby I lift the bridge of Burke Jinx. Hereby I lift against the Notre Dame fighting Irish. Against the Notre Dame fighting Irish. So let it be spoken, so let it be done. Mike Mooney will now sing the Notre Dame fight song. <laughs> Bridget, thank you for this epic event. We'll be forever indebted to you making this all work for us. The Notre Dame fight song goes as follows. Cheer, cheer for old Notre Dame. Wake up the echoes cheering her name. Send the volley cheer up high. Shake down the thunder from the sky. What don't the odd be great or small? Old Notre Dame will win overall. While her loyal sons are marching onward to victory. Go Irish! Blow out the candle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>